Today I want to talk to you guys about the two new drone releases that we've seen over the last month. The new Para Anafi USA and the very newly announced Skydio X2. Now these are two new drones specifically aimed at the enterprise and military sector. However, they actually represent a seismic shift in the drone industry and something that is probably going to change things forever. Now before I get into this, if you'd like to support the channel, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. There's also a little bell next to it as well and if you click that you'll get updates on any videos that we release in the future. If you'd like to support the channel also there are some links in the description and there's also somewhere you can donate if you'd like to buy us a coffee or just support us so we can keep making videos in the future. So as I said over the last month we've had these two new aircraft release. The first was the Parrot Anafi USA which is an enterprise drone designed to be used as a search and rescue unit or designed for inspection or surveillance applications. There is also going to be a dedicated military version of this which is actually certified for use by the US government. Now the spec on this drone isn't really anything particularly special in the sense of it is a triple sensor camera of which one of them is a flare boson thermal unit. It has a combined digital and optical zoom of up to 32 times. It has a 32 minute flight time and it weighs just 500 grams. And whilst the hardware itself isn't anything particularly special what is extremely interesting about this is the intent Parrot have with this aircraft. They are out and out going against DJI and saying that their aircraft will be secure and your data is secure when you are using this aircraft. So much so that they're willing to allow other people to actually check their firmware for any vulnerabilities. As I said, there is also a military version of this aircraft. This has already been certified as well. So you know what Parrot are doing doing here is to try and take some of this market share from DJI that they've had with the Mavic Enterprise or the Mavic Enterprise Duel. Now further to the Parrot release, today we have an announcement from Skydio and they have announced a new aircraft called the X2. Now this is a new larger version of their aircraft which is folding, it can fly for up to 35 minutes, it has a maximum range of 6.2 kilometers, again it is fitted with a FLIR camera with a 320 by 256 resolution, but it also has some of Skydio's very special source on board as well with their 360 degree object sensing. And they're actually doing this 360 degree situational awareness and mixing the object avoidance cameras around it with the main camera sensor to give you some capabilities that we have never seen before. So much so, it also means that you can fly this aircraft at night as well using GPS and still have vision. Further to the new X2 aircraft itself, they have also announced a new enterprise remote controller to go with it, which makes it a much more professional platform compared to the other models. And it was actually this remote controller that I said was letting Parrot down on the Anafi USA, but on the Skydio X2, they've created this very dedicated enterprise unit, which really does push it into a more professional level. Now the big seismic event with these two releases isn't the hardware itself but it is that we finally have two manufacturers that are competing with DJI directly on a turnkey level. What DJI to where they are today was providing an aircraft such as the Mavic 2 in a package which basically just worked, it was very simple and easy to use and the ecosystem that went with it was nice and integrated and it just just was very fast, very quick and very easy to deploy. However, as we have seen over the last 12 months, not only has there been large privacy concerns, but there's also been a number of issues in the USA and it is clear that the market has been desperate for other players to come on board and provide a solution. Now it should be said this isn't the first time that we've had other manufacturers try to compete with DJI. Autel have been making their various aircraft, however they are still a Chinese based manufacturer. You had unique who have been making their H series which again is a very good aircraft but it hasn't really caught on and we did have 3DR that did try to go up against DJI
DJI, but they simply weren't able to provide the turnkey solution that DJI were doing with their integrated camera systems. Whilst, as I said, this isn't the first time we've had people compete, this time with Skydio and Parrot does feel different. And the reason for that is as follows. We have two manufacturers who have been able to raise large amounts of money, not only in the US, but in other parts of the world. They seem to be being supported by the US military in purchase orders that allows them to actually guarantee have some safe sales. And they are clearly pushing their technology forward. And whilst the Para Anafi USA is very interesting, this Skydio series and the Skydio X2 specifically is really on another level. And the fact that they are integrating that very clever image processing that they have with their object sensing is taking these aircraft to the next level. And it's allowing you to do all sorts of new things, including new ways to map bridges where the aircraft is actually able to fly in and out of the structure and capture images unlike we have been able to use aircraft to do before. So what does all of this mean for the future of DJI and everyone else? Well, here and now, nothing. At the moment, there are no bans in place. And whilst there is concerns over data privacy from aircraft from certain manufacturers, the reality is here and now, DJI are still the market leader. However, Skydio and Parrot are not playing games and they have released two extremely capable aircraft that will set them on a path towards competing with DJI even more in the future. If they take what they've done here and build upon it and build larger aircraft, they really could give DJI a problem, especially in the USA. Over time, we will see though where all of this ends up and I can almost be sure that DJI will release something in the near future, especially on the smaller enterprise side, such as the Mavic 2 Enterprise series to compete with these new aircraft, especially the Skydio one with that very clever imaging system. We'll have to see where all of this ends up though in the end. With regards to price on these new aircraft, well, they really are aimed at the enterprise market. My understanding is the Anafi USA for the enterprise is around 7,000 and there's been no pricing release for the Skydio X2. However, I would expect it to be in the 10,000 range myself. Again, these are not aircraft designed for the general drone market. But what they are doing is sending a clear shot across the bow of DJI in the enterprise market, and these manufacturers are not messing about. Now, that is it for this video. I just wanted to talk a little bit about this. I'm going to be monitoring this one very closely, and it's going to be very interesting to see where this ends up. I'm expecting DJI to do something, but we don't know when that will be, but I'm sure they will try and play catch up at some point. That's it for this one. Again, if you would like to support the channel, please do consider hitting that subscribe button and also hit the bell next to it as well. If you'd like to support the channel, please do check out the links in the description of the video as well.